I don't know, the problem is, like, I, I've always been a big guy. I had a fat childhood. Anyone else here have a fat childhood? Anyone? A couple people. It's a lot like a regular childhood, but fatter, right? <laughs> you sweat for unexplainable reasons, right? You gotta walk like this in the summer because you're scared. <laughs> you only get one bike in your lifetime, you fuck up the rims, your mom never buys you. <laughs> you gotta go to a nutritionist more often, you gotta go to the dentist, and you don't know why, right? <laughs> I know, my mom used to say stuff to me that didn't make sense for the size of person I am, right? She used to say stuff like, John, make sure you finish all the food on your plate before you go outside and play with your friends. Like, Mom, look at me. You know I don't have a problem finishing the food you put on my plate, okay? You know I don't have any friends, and even if I did, we sure as shit don't go outside. It's not where the stupid Nintendo is, okay? Mario doesn't have to go outside, right? Uh, the thing is, right, like, is no one tells me, like, no one tells, no one tells a fat guy how, what to do, right? You gotta figure it out yourself. Like, there's no blog fashion for fat people, right? There's no book dressed to compress, right? That you can try it. Out. <laughs> like, I don't want to look like a pent out Mr. Rogers, but I have to wear cardigans to hide the. <laughs> it's like I, it looks like it looks like I'm smuggling rolls out of a red rock in a pork right? Like, I don't. It, it just it sucks, right? Because no one told uh, no one told me what to do, right? Because parents don't give fat kids the fat talk, right? You gotta give fat kids the fat talk. That's the talk, right? Because parents are only concerned about one talk. There's only one talk society says parents have to have, right? Take care of people. What talk's that? <laughs> Sex talk, right? Fat kids, you know, they don't care about the birds and the bees. They eat the birds and the bees, okay? <laughs> but like this honey's delicious. They don't care. <laughs> And then the thing is, if you don't have the fat kid talk with the fat kid, the sex talk, this is irrelevant. <laughs> You're a real big asshole. Uh, We're the biggest loser, so I'm still a winner. <laughs> like, I apply, and they're like, Sorry, you're not there yet. I'm like, Yeah! <laughs> the best thing you could have told me, at least. Uh, I, the thing is, I wanted to get in shape, right? Like, I, like, I had every intention to. I'm like, I'm gonna get in shape. Turns out that's not enough. You have to do shit, too, to back that up. <laughs> Nobody told me, right? Like, and the thing is, they were having that sale at the gym. It was a dollar a pound. You pay like a dollar per pound. You want to lose? I worked at a grocery store for six years. A dollar pounds a sale, regardless. Okay? <laughs> Chicken or cat litter. You're like, honey, let's go to Walmart. I'm buying it all. I'm holding it in the basement because it's not being going to be on sale for another month. Like, people think that's what we do. We live in winter. Let's be serious, okay? Uh, we're in a basement listening to jokes. We fucking shop sales. <laughs> Someone's got a coupon in their pocket right now. Like, I guarantee it. <laughs> The thing is, right, like, it was a dollar pound, the chick's like, ooh, how much weight do you want to lose? And I'm like, I just want to get in shape. She's like, we're going to have to run a credit check on you. Guys, <laughs> I'm five months behind on a Netflix account. I didn't get in, okay? Like, me and the gym aren't, me and the gym, like, we're not friends. I'm so unacquainted with him, I call him James, you know what I mean? Like, we're not on a proper first name basis, okay? And I'm trying, like, I don't know, I'm trying to figure out, and, like, I tried to, like, make changes up. I got a new job. My new job's awesome. Like, I travel a lot with my new job. I love that. I like to travel. Uh, I recently got back from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, and whatever, uh, if no one gets excited for Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, right? Because that place is like McGregor got an airport. It just shouldn't exist. Right? Its purpose doesn't, it escapes me, right? I was driving in, I was driving in Sault Ste. Marie, I took the stupid way, I came in the Canadian way, like I went around, okay? And I drove into Sault Ste. Marie, and the first thing you see when you get off the highway is a church with a for sale sign. How fucked up is a place that Jesus has to move? <laughs> When Jesus is like, no, this neighborhood's not for me, I'm packing up and going to Sudbury. 